Okay. Oh shit! and half and go with no, 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 I wasn't watching my own videos. No, no, absolutely not. That would be a shame, a sin. That would be just completely inappropriate. All right, hey guys, go down here, but you can call me Chris. So basically, today, no stupid questions, bro. Yeah, got a problem? Me too. I have many problems. All right, so. Uh, yeah, currently I should hopefully be on vacation, so this is a scheduled upload that will hopefully work, and, uh, yeah, if it does, then you'll watch this, and you'll be like, what the hell, man, why are you even saying that? Now you just ruin the whole effect, because it's like, yo, this is like two weeks ago, when really, like, I want this, I want it to be the night before you upload, like, what the hell, man, what are you talking about right now, okay? Alright, first question, <sighs> I need to just, sometimes, just lower, lower the levels of pure, pure... Intolerable, uncomfortable insanity. Like, you want to be uncomfortable? Bam, you're just uncomfortable for five seconds there. Okay, first question is from Alex White, and he asks, What would you do if you turned into Bayesian Canadian or ASF Jerome? Wow, what a freaking amazing question, Alex! Uh, you just, I don't even, I'm not gonna answer the question yet. First, I'm gonna go into a little bit of backstory. I have been watching freaking, uh, Bayesian Canadian way before he used Bayesian Canadian. Uh, I've been watching him since he used Awesome Sauce Films, where, uh, I think it was originally what uh, grabbed my eye was that he was doing Nazi or, uh, yeah Nazi zombies on Black Ops the first one. Uh, I don't know why, but I would spend like hours upon hours just watching his uh, let's plays with Matt. Like before, he didn't even like a lot of the time he didn't even make videos with Jerome. It was uh, mainly his friend Matt. Uh, I believe it's Newchim. Newchim is his new YouTube channel. But uh, before it was him and Matt, they would just play zombies and get to like round 40 and stuff. And I don't know why, but I would waste like five hours watching them make it to round 50 when I could just be playing it myself. So I've been watching Bayesian for a long time, and he would sometimes play with Jerome, but not a lot. Then once they made their own accounts and they started playing Minecraft, now they're big boys. They're big boys now. They made it to a million. So uh, I think I'd rather be... Um, Bayesian Canadian, just because I don't know. I'm a bit more. I, I've been a longer, long uh, time fanboy with him specifically. Jerome. Um, fun facts. Jerome was actually the first one to make a video out of all of them ever. Like if you go back on Awesome Sauce Films, go to the last video. It is like a spore video. If you listen to Jerome's voice, you will not recognize him. He literally sounds like he was 12 years old. It was. It, oh my God. Put a smile on my face. Seriously, uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll be Bayesian Canadian. What would I do? I'd whip my dick out on camera. That's what I would do because he promised he wouldn't. It's like, yo, you didn't you didn't fulfill your promise, bro. And then he's just like, yo, my, my account would get taken down if I did. And I was like, yo, PM me that shit. Okay, next question. This one's from Stabbed by King, and he asks, COD or Halo? Uh, I've... I played Halo before I played COD ever, so, like, I got an Xbox, like, what, oh my god, has it really been, like, three and a half years, maybe, I think it's been three and a half, I am getting old, damn, man, I miss those days, but, uh, basically, I would just play campaign, Halo 3 campaign, I would always be scared, you know, I was, like, 12, 11, maybe, 10 years old, I don't know. Uh, yeah, and I would ha play Halo 3 campaign. Best campaign ever. I don't think I've ever enjoyed a campaign more than that. I would always play it with my brother. We'd, like, flip out every time. Like, the first times you play video games, it's just, they're the most magical, and you can never get that back. I know you, a lot of you guys, you understand that feeling. Like, for example, the first time I ever watched and played Minecraft, I was in, I was in goddamn heaven. I was horrible at the game, but it was so much fun. And now it's it's still fun sometimes, but it's just it doesn't have that same magical little feeling. That it's like you don't get butterflies in your stomach anymore. Anyway, I I'm sure a lot of you understand that feeling. I don't like getting depressing, but you know, hashtag real talk in here. Uh, but if I had to choose, probably Halo. Although I enjoy COD as well. What can I say, Frig? What can I say? All right, next question is from. Um, Stabbed by King once again. He asks, Saints Row or GTA? Um, I, uh, 
See, I like Saints Row because it's more cartoony and it's much less realistic. Now, that might sound stupid. A lot of people like the whole realistic part stuff things. But I personally like expanding. Like, if you're going to play a video game, you're trying to escape reality, you know? You don't want it to be reality. So, I kind of like Saints Row. Um, I haven't really played GTA enough to really do a, a precise... Uh, I guess you could say uh, decision, you know, because uh, G GTA 4, I've played that, and it's definitely not as good as Saints Row, th uh, what is it, 3, because it's just, uh, it's older, you know, if, if Saints, if you compare Saints Row 2 and GTA 4, which were uh, made kind of at the same time, not really, but kind of, then it would definitely be GTA, so GTA is probably the better series, I'm not gonna lie. But I just, something about uh, Saints Row 3, at least, I freaking enjoyed. Like, maybe it's just because you can you can slap people with giant pink dildos and, you know, just sit on someone's face when you're, anyway. <laughs> Alright, next question. It is from Drew Iglesia. What will you do for 1 million subscribers? Next question. This one's from Drew Iglesia again, because you know what? He has really good questions, okay? So if you guys want to be the new Adreo Drew freaking Iglesia, ask good questions. Yeah! Okay, so he asks, um, the lag spike 68 or I fan boy you? Choose who's better. No hard feelings. Uh, Jumbo Boombox. Like, let's be honest here. Next question. <sighs> Can you do an impersonation of PewDiePie? <laughs> How's it going, bros? My name is Pima. And welcome back to some Slender the Arrival. Alright, you happy now? You sick little freak. I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. Damn it. I'm doing the same, okay? You know what? We can do it together. Okay. I'm st Okay. Next one. He asks, the outdoors or the indoors? What is this outdoors you speak of? I've only heard of it in Legend. Next question. This one's from... Isabel Michael and he asks battlefield or cod and and this 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 was actually um, Flagged as spam. So I guess you guys didn't like that question battlefield or cod Jeez, uh, <laughs> um, like I've I have battlefield 3, but I don't have the online pass like I just got it at a garage sale the campaign in that one like I, I'm really a sucker for the campaign the campaign in Battlefield 3 was sickeningly, horribly disgusting. I know the multiplayer is probably really good, but the campaign was so bad. I, it's just insanely bad. Uh, so, for now, I'd say COD, but I can't really judge considering I haven't really delved into Battlefield 3's multiplayer. It's probably they're, prob they're both obviously great, but uh, what can I say? Alright, uh... Next question is from my friend Antonio, and he has a really good question. He asks, be super rich with no free time, or be poor with a lot of free time? Um, jeez, that's too good of a question. Like, it's, like, I can't even decide. Be super rich with no free time, so you're super rich, but you're always working. Or, uh, be poor, but you're never working. Well, obviously you're gonna be poor if you're never working. I'm just gonna go with super rich... And no free time. What can I say? I don't know. I'll retire, maybe? I'll, when I'm 60 years old, I can spend my money. Yeah! Woo! Yeah, that's all I can really respond to that. Next question. He's from Drew Iglesia. He asks, If you had to take out one of your body parts, which one would it be? Um... Well, body parts? I guess my pinky toe. Uh, makes sense, I think. Uh, but it says body systems, so I guess you're meaning like uh, your organs. Uh, I'll go with my tonsils or my uh, what is it? Like I think you can have two kidneys. Is that yeah? I'll take out one of my kidneys. Yeah, that sounds that sounds pretty good. All right, next question. This one is from Drew Iglesia, and he says, "Bro, I just wanted to say." You're my favorite YouTuber out there. So what's yours? Um, first of all, thank you for that compliment. A lot of you guys have been saying that lately. Um, uh, I don't know what I have to say about that, but what's my favorite YouTuber? There's so many, dude. Like, a lot of YouTubers, they don't watch YouTube. They just do it, you know? Uh, I don't do that. I watch a lot of YouTube. Like, you have no idea. I watch too much YouTube. 
<sighs> uh, I could probably list off like anybody like legit I should probably take a YouTube some kind of YouTube quiz Oh man, maybe even like all you guys like spam like a bunch of YouTube related questions like YouTuber related I don't even know because I know so many YouTubers. I don't know them, but I've watched so many It's not even funny. I mean if I had to choose favorites um uh, LOL the stab. I've been watching him for like two, more than two years now. Uh, I'm the attack. I've been watching him for a long ass time. He's Canadian, so you know swag. Uh, David Brown TV. Um, I'm naming all the COD commentators, but uh, let's see. Uh, PewDiePie. Okay, here's the deal. Okay, a lot of people hate PewDiePie, but a lot of people love PewDiePie. I just respect PewDiePie, okay? Because the amount of videos that he makes and the quality that he makes them in, like you, you know, he's he doesn't just uh, just play the game, upload the game. No, he spends like a, a lot of time on each video. Now, and when you're an actual video maker, like you, you, you've made videos and you understand how long it takes, you realize that PewDiePie actually like cares and, and puts a lot of work into his videos. Like legit, you know that PewDiePie could literally just upload six times a day just the same thing like uh i'm just this isn't like hate or anything but like for example tobuscus uh he pretty much like plays a game for you know three hours straight and then just cuts it up into parts because he does a lot of traveling right uh, and i respect that that's perfectly fine but pewdiepie each video you know he does like 15 minutes a day uh you know edits it like hell you know makes it nice adds so tons of stuff like little features that are uh, i don't know it's just he does a lot of stuff and uh, I don't know, I respect him. What can I say as a content producer? From one man to another. Uh, I also... I, I can't say any Minecraft commentators specifically. I used to... Well, I kind of watch Bayesian Canadian now. Uh, I still kind of check in on him every once in a while. And uh, Max Mofo is also professional. I like him. There's just too many to decide. What can I say? I could talk about that crap all day, but uh, unfortunately, I gotta render this video and it'll take like 22 hours if I do that. So, next question is from Drew Iglesia. I should, this, like, legit, this whole episode should just be called Drew Iglesia, but it's not going to be because that's not the way the cookie crumbles. Alright, he asks Be buried or burned when you die? Oh my god, that's a good question. Be buried or burnt? Oh. See, now, the thing is, like, it's kind of scary, because, like, yeah, I'm not sure if maybe when you die, if it's legit over, or maybe you just stay inside your body, but you you can't move. Like, because that, if that's the case, I don't want to be inside of a grave, my spirit inside of the grave, uh, for eternity, while Megas slowly drill into my body. That's disgusting, but at the same time, like, I don't want to get burned, I don't know, man, it's just, it's too hard of a question, I'm, let, let my kids decide when I die, Frank. Okay, oh god, that's kind of depressing, but alright, yeah, Drew Glacier asks, be social, or have dignity? I don't even understand, okay, for once he made a crappy question. Uh, next question, Apple or Samsung? Uh, my phone is Samsung, but like my parents is Apple. Um, overall, Apple. What can I say? Just so user friendly, no joke. Like I have a Samsung phone, but I still agree that Apple's way better. You know, like no joke. Freaking Apple's amazing. For certain things, they aren't. But for just browsing, and watching YouTube videos, oh, they're the best. Next question from Zombify, or my friend Dustin. He asks Squirtle, Charmander, or Bulbasaur. Um, well, when I first got my first ever Game Boy game, well, it was Game Boy Color, uh, it was Pokemon, like, Crystal? I don't think Crystal, the Crystal, no, I think Crystal was, like, uh, the other, it was, like, Totodile in those, but if I have to choose uh, between those, I always preferred the Fire type, so Charmander, but I also like Squirtle. Uh, Bulbasaur was just a bit, I don't, I don't know, I didn't really like Bulbasaur that much, it's just a bit weird. But uh, Squirtle and Charmander, those two are swag. Just swag. Next question is from Nick DeLillo. And he asks, would you rather lick up someone's puke? Oh, yeah, yum! Or have someone pee in your mouth and swallow it? Yeah, uh, okay. I think this is a good place to end off the episode. Whew, um. Yeah.
Yeah, I think I think we're over. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like, favorite, and possibly subscribe. Make sure to leave all your decent questions in the comments below. And uh, yeah, I'll get back to you next time. Peace out, dogs. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.